So you've set up your KRL, Kuka Robotic Language Script, in something like Kuka PRC, and now you wanna run it on the actual Kuka robot. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Here on my desktop, I already have a Kuka Robotic Language file with the file extension .src that is ready to run on a robot. If we open the file, you can see all the data required for the Kuka to run the program. KRL is based on the Pascal programming language, as we can see here. So how do we actually get this on the robot to run? First of all, I will simply drag the KRL file onto a USB drive and take it to the KUKA controller and simply plug it in. When we insert a USB into the controller, you have to be logged in as at least an expert user and the USB should be visible in the file navigator. When we select the .src file, KSS gives us some options on the lower section of the smart pad. Simply click edit and then copy to copy the file. You can see that it's possible to open the file on the USB drive, but you cannot select the file to run it. In order to run it, we have to copy it and paste it onto the KUKA controller itself. So click the robot in the navigator, R1, and then select the program folder. Then back down to edit and paste to paste the file onto the controller. Then, once we've pasted our file, we can select it and the smart pad gives us different options on what we can do with it. We can select, duplicate, archive, delete, open and edit. In order to run the file, we don't use the open button. Open merely opens the script where we can edit it without running it on the robot. So we close it and instead choose select. which also opens the file, but loads it ready for the KUKA to run it. If we switch to auto mode, we can simply press play and the robot will run the file back. Once you've selected your program to run, you can see we can no longer simply exit the program using the close button like we could when we open the program. Here we can use the robot interpreter button, which is marked with an R and is located in the status indicator, which gives us a couple options cancel or reset the program. Let's say we are halfway through a program on line 79 and something has happened and we need to reset to the beginning. It's as simple as hitting R and selecting reset program, which takes it back to the initialization of the robot at the start of the file. And if we want to cancel and close the program, we simply select cancel program. On top of that, let's see how smart KSS actually is. I've set up another program called Milling X here on the USB drive. And I'm gonna simply hit edit and copy that onto the controller as well to see what happens. When I check this program on the controller, its icon has a red X, which means it contains an error and will not run. If I select the file, the KUKA knows it's unsafe to run, and instead of giving the select option, as it did previously, KSS now offers the error list button. If I select that, it loads the error display and tells me in line 51, there is an open bracket expected. If I hit the display button to the right, First, I'll have to open the fold with the button down below and then hit the display button. It takes the KRL editor to the line where the error is. Here, you can see what I've done. I've removed the L from the linear movement command, which creates the error. If I simply hit the keyboard key on the smart pad, it won't let me edit because I'm no longer logged in as an expert. Go to the main menu again, configuration, user groups and log back in as an expert. Now we can edit the program, put in the missing L, rectifying the error. Close the keyboard and then close the editor, which asks if I want to save changes, which I do, so hit yes. If now I check the program in the navigator view, the red X is gone and I can select the file to run on the cooker just like the first example. Hit the play button and the robot will begin the program.